We, we talked a little bit about Elon Musk and the tweet that, that he sent yesterday. Just yeah. one word, game stonk, there it is, with a link to the subreddit Wall Street Bets. Um, Elon Musk doesn't have the best relationship or history, I, I think you could say, with the SEC. Yeah. I'm wondering if, is there's any potential for, is this kind of skirting rules, skirting regulation? Yeah. Can you get in trouble for this? I don't see it. I don't see the uh, legal issue. I mean, it would be, I don't know. I mean, in theory, I guess, not with him per se, but, you know, if you had someone lying or taking a position and something. But look, the history of uh, wealthy people talking about a position on TV, at ideas dinners, at conferences, they've done this a long time. It's not that new. It's just the medium that's different. What I find more interesting is you have these uh, billionaires or the richest person in the world who wants to be cool. <laughs> like, that's kind of the new phenomenon. Like, it's not enough to be the richest person in the world. He also has to be, like, on the right side of a Reddit trade. So it's like what people <laughs> really want is uh, the social currency or the cachet that comes with being part of the GameStop trade or talking about it or tweeting about it. That yeah. sort of is the phenomenon that seems kind of novel here. Yeah, we, we don't see Jeff Bezos tweeting much or, no, or the Waltons for, for that matter. Yeah, Warren Buffett's not active on Twitter. That will be the top. <laughs> I, if he gets on and starts tweeting about how he's long GameStop, I will be confident that that's the top. <laughs> All right, there it is. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on AMC before we let you yeah. go, Joe. Uh, AMC stock up. Okay, let's see right here. I have it up on the Bloomberg. 247%. Um, that's, you know, significantly higher than when I last looked yeah. three minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, how are we seeing this sort of phenomenon spread to other stocks like AMC? I mean, AMC, think about yeah. this company, what it's been through over the last, you know, 10 months. Almost uh, had to declare bankruptcy. Yeah, I mean, look, there are some things that this has in common. I mean, you have this sort of, yes, the death of like physical um, establishments like video game stores or movie theaters, that's probably been oversold a little bit, that whole narrative. Then you have a heavily shorted, um, these stocks are heavily shorted, which as I mentioned before, that creates the raw kindling because shorts are potential buys. Every short has to get covered at some point. Uh, you have the small market cap, the low float. And so then you have, you know, it's similar, very similar narrative, similar short structure popular positions to bet against. And so huge potential for sort of like asymmetrical upside when uh, the sort of, when the long squeeze happens. All right, Bloomberg's Joe Weisenthal. Joe, this was a lot of fun. We got to get you back on here Anytime. more. All right, come back. Uh, thanks as always for your time, Joe. Good to see you. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.